What's up, Soccer Nation? Welcome to YourSoccerMentor.com. My name is Adam, and today we're going to learn how to take free kicks. Now, uh, some of my favorite free kick takers, the people that I watched growing up, were Ronaldinho, uh, David Beckham, he's amazing, Juninho, of course, he's incredible, um, Roberto Carlos, Thierry Henry, these are all players that I learned from watching YouTube videos and uh, following the tips that I learned from them and the tips that you can learn in this video today, we're going to make you a better free kick taker. So if you guys are ready, let's get started. Okay, now whenever you're taking a free kick, you want to aim for four places, four corners, either the top two corners or the bottom two corners. Those are going to be the places where it's hardest for the keeper to get the ball. So depending on where the ball is and where the wall is and where the goalie is, you know, you have to make a choice on which corner you want to shoot for, but we're going to practice aiming for all four. Now this is going to be an awesome video because I'm going to teach you guys how to use a goal that doesn't even have a net and also how to use the natural landscape. If you don't have a wall, you know, um, if you can't just go and buy you know, a, a mannequin, this, those fake mannequin things to, to stand in front of you. Um, you know, those are like $200 a, a piece or something like that, crazy. So I'm going to teach you guys how to use the natural environment and train yourself and do the exact same thing for free. All right. So um, for this first free kick, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a t-shirt that I have and I'm going to go set it up in the corner and we're just going to kick until we hit it. All right. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's good about what I have set up here is that every time I miss, I have to chase the ball the other side, and I just practice the same thing from the other side, okay? Um, and you can see the tree right behind the goal, I just use that as a pretend wall. Now regardless of which way you want to kick the ball, one principle is always the same. You want your plant foot to be pointed in the exact direction wherever you want the ball to go. So whenever I run up to kick the ball, I put my plant foot pointed just barely inside of the post, okay? Alright, now that we've got our shirt hanging up there, what I want you guys to do is set a goal. Alright, now I don't want you to leave the field, I don't want you to go back inside until you meet your goal, okay? So if you want to hit the, hit the shirt three times, then don't go inside until you hit it three times. If you want to hit it five times in a row, don't go inside until you've hit it five times in a row, all right? So, you know, whatever your goal is, stay outside until you meet it. Anyway, my goal is to hit that shirt, now let's do it. Okay, now that we've hit it from this side, I'm going to take you over from that angle so you can see how it looks from over there. Okay, now that I got you guys on this side, you can see where the, my white shirt is hanging on the side, on the corner, and you can see how the tree is acting like a wall. Now what I'm going to attempt to do is bend the ball around the tree and try to make it, you know, make the ball a little bit higher than where I expect players would be standing. Now remember, when you guys are outside practicing, try it from a couple different spots and aim for all four corners so you can get used to aiming from different angles. Okay, so that way it doesn't matter where you are, where the keeper is, or where the wall is, you are going to be able to have a good shot. Alright, now you guys know how to take a free kick, get outside and start practicing. 